Hey guys, I'm Amber Nicole and I'm here with Mike. He does graphic design and he was recently recognized for his art that he did for a lot of like moguls and big people in the city of Philadelphia. So how are you today? I'm doing wonderful today. I'm excited for what's going to happen in the future and I've been grateful for everything that's been happening so far. All right. So you do graphic design. So how long have you been doing it? Why graphic design? So I love art. I've always been a creative person. Um, since I was like in the second and third grade, I always been doing art. Um, jumped ahead of life. I wanted to get, I was in tenth and eleventh grade. Um, I was introduced to graphic design, and ever since then, um, I just fell in love with it. I was flown out to LA when I was in eleventh, tenth, and eleventh grade, and I took a, a summer class at USC. And one of the classes was graphic design, so I, was, I fell in love with it, and I knew that's what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Right, and then the way that you do it, it's not like, you know, it definitely sets itself apart because I see graphic design all the time and I'm just kind of like, eh, everything's starting to look the same. Like, what made you do graphic design the way you do, like your design, the texture of it, like how you create people? Like, where'd that come from? So, everybody, every artist is, is inspired by somebody else. Like, for me, my favorite artist of all time is a guy named Naturel. This dude is, he's the man. He's the man, really nice. Like he's the man. So, I saw his, I seen his work, and I was like, man, I want to make my work almost like his. But eventually, I started to like put my own style and my own twist to things, and that's where you get like different concepts and things like that. So I try to be really, uh, really rich, original. Probably not with the style, but definitely with the concepts. Got it. Okay. So then your recent piece. Let's talk about that. So, what made you pick the people that you picked? <laughs> yeah, let's start there. Okay. So look, Will Smith. He is the, in my opinion, the all-time Philly icon, Philly legend, man. And then you got, of course, Kevin Hart, the upcoming, um, you know, legend right now. Then you got Meek Mills, who was just on the rise, taking everything by storm, man. So I had to put them front and center, full focus, front and front, man. I just felt like they deserved that position. And everybody else was just everybody I, I looked up to and admired and was inspired by, like, I have Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons in the back. I feel like those dudes are just coming in Philly and they're just like, just acting like they're Philly natives, man. And they just like, they belong here. So everybody in that picture belongs there. And I, I was just thankful that I was able to put it, put together a piece like that. Because I like, I was scrolling on Instagram. Of course I love Instagram. And I see this and I'm like, wait, this design looks crazy familiar. And I'm like, wait, then I see that you posted it. And I'm like, okay. I him like he did like everyone was hosting it it was getting so much like you know buzz and everything like that and attention you did such an amazing job now i just want to say that <laughs> congratulations so where has that put you at now like have you had any interviews i saw that you did something with uh patty jackson from wdas so how was that so i met patty jackson yesterday uh it was incredible Oh my goodness, she dropped gems on me she put me on to other people um she actually called patty labelle and I was, she put Patty LaBelle on the phone with me, and I, actually, I was actually talking to Patty LaBelle. I was, that's when I say when I walked out that bed, I was cool, calm, chilling. You know, I had my, you know, I was, had my straight face on. Then I, I left the building, and when I say I called like everybody from A to Z on my phone, like I went A to Z, and I went crazy, like. But that's not even, the, that's not even the best part. Just talking to her, because um, she's going to be performing um, next week at the Dell. And I'm going to present the picture. Stop! You're not going to meet Patty LaBelle! Oh, my God. What? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to stop being that phone A to Z because I want to get that call. <laughs> I'm trying to be there. Okay, wait. So that's so amazing. I, what? What? That is so crazy. Okay, <laughs> wow. So how are you preparing yourself for this? Like, are you like, like, what? How, like, <laughs> I'm like doing sit-ups. I got to lose the weight. <laughs> I gotta like eat straight. I had a, like a, a hoagie yesterday. I was regretting it. Like I'm about to meet Patty. I'm, I gotta get fit for this. Like it's only gonna be like two seconds. But hey, cause I'm I'm going to present the image to her at the Dell, and it's just like, well, I hope I don't trip. I don't fall. I gotta practice walking all over again. Like I already, I'm a, I'm fluent in walking. I gotta just keep practicing and make sure I don't trip. But yeah, it's it's been it's going to be amazing, man. I'm already just the fact that I talked to her. That's enough for me already. So, but the fact that I'm going to present to her, like, what she's like, what she means to the city, whoa, that's like, man. That's major. That is so major. So, can I get a copy? Yeah. 
Oh, okay, okay. I, I'm getting happy. Okay, so then I saw that you were also on Fox 29 with Mike Jarek and Alex Holly. And how was that? Oh, that was wonderful, man. Like, if I was interviewed um, at my house for the first interview, but this time they, they invited me to the studios. And I was able to be in view by Mike Holly and uh, I mean Mike Jarrett and uh, yeah, that put them together. Mike Holly. Yeah, yeah, right. That's like that should be a hashtag. But um, but yeah, I was interviewed by them and it was incredible, man. Um, try to stay calm, cool, and collected. Try to stay humble, man. I think humility is key. If you stay grounded, you'll never fall. That's like one of my things I, I go by, man. And uh, so I was on TV. You know, I was a little hype, but at the same time, man, I was just thankful for just for the opportunity. It was it was incredible. So. It was an amazing experience. So where are you looking to take your art or, you know, things like that? So Philly is my hometown, but I feel like I want to grow. You know, I have opportunities in New York. Um, some guy, we were, we're starting a project uh, called Save the Fashion District, and we're going to uh, open up a, a storefront where we're going to sell merch, we're going to sell art, do art shows and things like that. And I want to take my art to L.A., uh, eventually, I'm gonna actually do just like the Philly piece. I'm gonna do an LA piece. Back to where it started. Okay, so you're yeah, right. <laughs> I'm gonna do an LA piece, and I'm gonna do a New York one and Atlanta one. Okay, okay. So I'm looking forward to that definitely. So you said Philly. We already done Philly. So then you're gonna do LA and an Atlanta one. Yes, I'm looking forward to. I, can I get all three? <laughs> What's on <all> asking for? <laughs> I don't even make a couple dollars off of this. Hold on, first of all. <laughs> well, thank you so much for uh, taking your time out of your day to tell me the great news in my the first for today to hear. Well, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll be giving everybody the private calls. Like, I'm being petty, but yeah, so. But yeah, definitely first hair, exclusive hair. So, yeah, I'm totally blessed, man. I appreciate it so much. Again, I'm Amber Nicole, and this is Mike. Check out his graphic design you see below where you can check out his wonderful art. And don't forget to make purchases, guys. Don't be cheap. <laughs> See you later.